Oh. Oh, why, why, why are you hiding over there? Byakia, what are you doing in this corner? Do you think Hero really did it? I don't see how anyone could think otherwise. When the attacks and murders and disappearances all happened, every one of us had an alibi. And the yeah. last thing Hifumi said when he died. Yeah, he said Hero's name, but didn't you just discount that earlier, Byakia? Didn't... What? Yeah, he did. Didn't he? Yeah, okay. Right. Sorry, I got food get... stuck in my teeth. That's okay. I was just trying to get my logic straight. <laughs> I, 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 so, all right. Before we started this recording, I already told Jared I was ready to get more upset at their logic, and it's already happened. It's not even like <laughs> I'm two minutes into this recording. <laughs> then there's no room to suspect anyone else. Mm hmm, mm hmm. Okay. But if he did do it, why would he hide his identity with that weird costume? Also, how could he be in two places at once? That's there's got to there's got to be like another way to travel through the the school beyond the stairs. There has to because there's literally like theoretically, if he is the murderer, or if there's only one person who's the murderer, there would have to be because there's no way they could get from the first floor or from the third floor to the first floor, back to the th third floor and the first floor mm -hmm. to kill. Yeah, yeah, yeah. To attack Celeste, hit Hafumi, go back up and kill Taka, and then go back down and kill Hafumi. Right. Or, yeah. And then yeah, lock there's... the door from the inside. It has to be in this. It literally <laughs> has to be in this room. There's got to be something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Maybe he right. thought that no matter what happened, he'd be safe as long as his face was covered. Well, that'd be really dumb. Because he's the fool of the century, you see. Okay, I mean, yeah, that's pretty accurate. I mean, he is kind of dumb. Makoto, you have no room to talk. <laughs> 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 but do you really think that's enough to explain it? I feel like there's a clue hiding in there somewhere. And is that it? That's all that bothers you about the case? Well, no, I mean, there are actually quite a few other things. Like, why did the killer try to hide the bodies? They probably figured that if we couldn't find the bodies, we couldn't complete our investigation. Oh my god, I hate to drag this off on another tangent, but <laughs> look at the penguin's face in the background. I just noticed that. Are you sure that's even and a penguin? I... D I it I, it just looks like a really big penguin with the human face. It's Maybe obviously it's a, a fan a art of guy. Fumi. <laughs> in like I don't like I in mean, like a he's main even outfit got the or spike something on top of his head. I mean, he come does. on. <laughs> Fumi is obviously well known for his spike head. Yeah. Yeah. But if that's the case, we found the bodies pretty easily, didn't we? Again, it comes back to the fact that the culprit was a moron. <laughs> okay, I mean, is that really all there is? To I'm sorry, I shouldn't be laughing, Byakia. Is that really all there is to it? Mm. The other thing that bothers me... Oh my god, Jared. Yeah? That space is huge. Yes, it is. <laughs> That's not the only thing that bothers me about this case. It's that space in between me and is. Why'd they bother killing two people? What? Because, I mean, all the rule says is if you can kill someone and get away with it, you graduate, right? So if you're the killer, your number one priority is not getting caught. But killing two people means more clues, more chances you'll get found out. Hold on. Perhaps... I see, so that's what that means. Is everything okay there, bud? Don't talk to me as if we're friends. Okay, I'm, that's fair. That's fair. I no, I understand the attitude. We're not friends. I don't think we're friends. But you have my appreciation. Thanks to you, I might have some fun with this after all. You're not gonna go mess with another dead body, Byakuya. This mysterious words hung in the air. 
as he left the repository. He talked as if he figured something out. But if he did, would it have killed him to tell me what it was? That is literally the entire game, Makoto. Mm-hmm. I... Yeah. It'll come out during the trial. Don't even worry about it. Oh, yeah, yeah. They don't need to tell us now, but, like, mm -hmm. in two hours, yeah, they'll tell us. Yeah. Hmm. There's got to be a clue around here somewhere. Maybe I should check somewhere else. There's some places I already know about. For Yeah. And they could, yeah, and yeah, that's where I wanted to go. I'm... Is there anything on the left side of the room? I don't think so. No. The camera. Been, uh... Oh, look at the camera. Surveillance camera. I don't have time to be staring at it. Okay. Fuck. All right, buddy. <laughs> uh, what if, like, one of these tiles is, like, a false tile? I don't know. I don't know. This is, this is weird. What if one of the hammers Super is a tight. false hammer? <laughs> <laughs> it's actually a makeshift <laughs> magical door. You can like dimension door wherever you want. Uh, equipment. Oh no, no, you go. Uh, okay. What? What? The equipment room. Oh yeah, you know you're yeah you're right you're right you're right. I forgot about that. We got to go to the psychic slab. Yeah. I can't not call it that now. I don't know why. <laughs> you're welcome. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Who needs physics when you have psychics? All right. Um. Uh -oh. oh hey, it's you. What are you doing in here? <sighs> Sleeping right here where the when the killer carried the body away. I'm super pissed. I missed such an ultimately rare event. I didn't even get a super rare. Mm. Justice Hammer Four, the weapon that was used to kill Taka. The body was moved, but the murder weapon was just left here. That is kind of weird. Mm -hmm. There's some kind of tire mark going through the pool of blood in the middle of the room. That reminds me, mm -hmm. not the dolly in the repository. Hey, you're connecting the dots, Makoto. Blood on the tire. Could that blood have come from here? Which could mean that Taka's body was moved from the equipment area. Yeah, mm -hmm. Both rooms are on the third floor. There's more than possible. It probably did happen. But even if the dolly was used to move Taka's what about body... What about Umi? Yeah. Fumi's <gasps> body was in the nurse's office on the first floor. Even with the dolly, there's no way to get it up to the third floor. That's still a total mystery. I'm kind of, Yeah, I'm kind of stumped on that one right now. Huh? This tarp? There used to be three traps. Now there's only two. I feel like I've seen it somewhere before. And just recently, too. Oh, my God. Oh, mm. my God. Hmm. Hmm. Oh, I guess check out the hammer again. Oh wait, no, we already did that. Never mind. We did. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Is it? Is it? Oh, is it? Oh my god. All right, back to the nurse. Check out the monitor. <laughs> no, I'm not. I'm not gonna humor you this time. Oh, but coins. <laughs> we. When was the last time we got a freaking coin? When we completed the last trial. No. <laughs> I'm having withdrawal. <laughs> I need a coin game. Oh, Let's go to the right sweet, room. sweet coin. Uh, was that on the screen? Someone yeah, was yeah. attacked there. We yeah, can find so out that's... which hammer specifically is the missing one. Or the one that was washed. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. The, yeah, yeah, I know what you mean. So this is one, I believe. Celeste, was she really attacked with this Justice Hammer 1? What the heck is with this thing? Where was Hifumi attacked the first time? Um, I don't remember. Wasn't it? It was on this floor. No, it was on the first floor. It was in the... Wait, where the fuck was he? I don't remember. Oh, he was in the library on the second floor. That's right. Oh. Okay, so we got to go back to the library. Yes. Okay. All right. All right. Library time. And then, well, okay. Yeah. Something. Okay. I'm just thinking. So. Uh... So it was Celeste on the third floor, then Hafumi yeah. on the second, and then Hafumi on, on the, the first, first and talk on yes. the third but they oh, okay 
Hmm. And the hammer... Is gone. Okay. So it's hammer it's number two that was two. washed off. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh... But we don't... I guess so... we're just going by the numbers of... That's the order. Where would it have gotten washed off at, though? It was on it the second been... floor. The repository... Through, through the repository. No, 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 no. If it was washed off... Because if it's hammer number two, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. If it was hammer number two, and hammer number two was found on the second floor, I mean, I guess he could have washed it anywhere, but, like, where on the second floor would he have washed it? Probably one of the bathrooms, I guess? Huh. Yep, there's... There's three. Three, there's Celeste. yeah. Justice Hammer 3, the one that was used to kill Finley. Someone with the body would let the weapon behind. So why'd they take two? What are you investigating, Celeste? I am not investigating anything, precisely speaking. I am simply going around, seeing if Hero might be hiding somewhere. What about you? Oh, you know, I'm just checking this and that. The main thing on my mind is how someone could have moved Hafumi's body. How Hafumi was moved, eh? When it disappeared, you were supposed to be in the nurse's office, right? Correct. Hino was not feeling well, so I stayed behind to look after her. But she seemed to be getting worse, so I took her to the bathroom. And when you got back, the body was gone. We could not have been gone for more than a minute or two, though. Yeah, Hina said the same thing. So then the killer was able to get in and move Hafumi's body in that shorter amount of time? It would seem so. You had to carry, some, carry off someone as big as Hafumi in only a couple minutes. Anything else? The only one I could think of who would even be remotely possible of doing that on their own would be Sakura. Right. But I don't, like, why would she... And she was she was with the uh, other floor group, anyways. Mm -hmm. Right. So. A trash bin. Confused noises. It's just a normal trash can. Wait, there's something inside. It's too small. It's a glasses cleaning cloth. Oh yeah, the blood. Uh, but it's also covered in blood. Ah, did you find something? Uh, I guess, yeah. There's a cleaning cloth in the trash can. A cleaning cloth? And it's all bloody. However this belonged to must have used it to wipe up some blood. But who would need to do something like that? I haven't the slightest idea. Yeah, so they cleaned the blood off his glasses, but why? That, like, uh, unless it was their blood, but why... How would it be theirs? <sighs> Doesn't make any sense. That just seems pointless. Yeah, and it looks like this totally that's looks like a Fumi's. Yeah. Which I would guess that the attacker used it, but what? Uh, I just don't get why would they clean off the glasses? Why? That makes no sense to me. I wonder if there's anything to drink aside after everything you've been through. Totally parched. Maybe just a quick peek. There's a bunch of blood packets in here for blood transfusions, I guess. Oh, uh, uh, excuse me? You're, you're just gonna gloss over. <laughs> that is so important. Are you kidding me? Wow. Hmm. That. Okay, so we figured out it was hammer number two that was missing. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. Oh man, that. So this is where you were. I've been looking for you. You have? I wanted to thank you for what you did. What did I do? 
Not that you meant to, but you ended up making this little game of ours very interesting indeed. Um... You should go to Hero's room. Oh, and let me give you this. Just gives us like a gun. <laughs> meet me in the dining hall. This is the no hero route to get us all to meet up, right? You remember well. well. All the penmanship was pretty remarkable, so it left an impression. Anyway, this makes it clear, right? This is a trap. What is? Hmm. Things grow ever more exciting. Uh, what are you talking about? I've already repaid my debt. I don't y owe you any more explanation. You're making this so much harder than it needs to be. Goodbye. Okay. Um, so he said to go to Hero's room, but what's waiting for me? Who, wait, in that case, who got the note? Like, how many people? I don't know. That was, oh, that was that, hold on. That was the nighttime thing, right? Yes. Okay. So then, but, mm, my brain is not computing any of this. There's way too many factors. <laughs> uh, where is his room? It's the one immediately at the end of the nope, hall. Nope, That's nope. Sakura. Nope. nope, it's this one. This one. Nah, I went past it. The door is unlocked? I guess I can go inside. Rakia did say to go look. It might not be a great idea, but I'm gonna take the plunge. He's dead! Wow, someone actually has decorations. Okay. Um. Um. Tell me I'm not the only one seeing that. The camera? Right? Yep. <laughs> It's freaking out over there. Alright, we're just gonna ignore that. Where'd he even get all of it from? More importantly, he still hasn't turned up. Is that supposed to be doing that? I don't <laughs> think that's supposed to be happening. I don't know. What if it is? <laughs> then I'm less spooked and just really confused. Um, what if I turn? Is it okay? <laughs> uh... What, what is wrong with it? I think there's there's a lot of worry to be happening right now, Makoto. It is freaking the fuck out. Check his uh, the drawer for the toolkit. Oh, uh, this one? Oh, no. Yeah, it won't let me. Alright, what about bed? It's a normal bed. Pretty much just like the one in my room. Okay, boxes. Bad I like room. boxes. Cardboard. Blueprints for something and some things made out of it looks like it. Wow, is this Robo Justice? And that's in <laughs> Hero's room. But wait, these blueprints. Something about them bothers me. Uh, the yeah. handwriting. They're not his. Mm. Robo Justice. Yeah, but the blueprints handwriting isn't. The... Yes, not his. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah. Someone gave him that. Uh, I, I, you're, you're really not going to let me click on any of that stuff? Okay. Weird. I soundlessly checked the bathroom. Hmm. There's nothing in here. It's pretty gungy, though. How does a bathroom even get this dirty? Okay, well, it's there's... so dirty, the game is like, I don't want to show you the nasty in there. Wasn't there? No, that's it? Are you serious? Stop! Just calm down. <laughs> Please. <laughs> God damn. I don't think that's supposed to happen. Makoto, big news! Big news! God, don't give me a heart attack. What's wrong? We found Kyoko! What? Is she okay? Where is she? Wait, I was done. There's more big news. Robo Justice showed up too. Robo. Alright, I'm not gonna say it again. <laughs> <laughs> It's Hero wearing the costume. Anyway, as soon as you can, head to the pool on the second floor. Do you think Hero and Kyoko would turn up at the same time? Anyway, I have to head to the pool. And so we head to the pool. 
The poo. Hell. <laughs> Wait, what? Oh, the locker. Hmm. Kyoko and... Ah, oh, man, I have had the worst day. Um, hero? Guess we'll just immediately check the locker. There's a big locker near the pool. Okay. Um, hero? <laughs> yeah, duh. Who else would I be? Um, that's a good question. Huh? What? Why do I look like this? What? Did someone come along and remodel me while I was sleeping? Was it the Illuminati? Um, okay. <laughs> I found Hero. He was jammed into the pool locker. Yep. Looked like he was fast asleep. So I kicked him and woke him up. I still can't believe you kicked me. You could have been a little more gentle about it. Like, I don't know, caress my face or something. I can take the, uh, yeah. the blue text That's back creepy. now. Since you actually have characters doing stuff. Okay, let me, let me take a drink real quick. Anyway, Kyoko, where have you been all this time? You just disappeared all of a sudden without a trace. There was something I had to check up on. What do you mean? Never mind. I can't never mind. Never mind. More importantly. She says that, but does she have any idea? Does she know people think she might be spying for the mastermind? First of all, Hero, you need to explain to us why you're dressed like that. Oh, uh, well, I mean, uh, I have no idea. One second I was asleep, don't even know how that happened. Then I woke up, and then I was here. I don't care. Do something about that costume. It pains me just to look at you. Well, um... I don't know what's up with this thing, but I actually can't get it off. A little help. Why would you make something that you can't take off by yourself? I didn't make this stupid freaking thing. There's a clasp on the back that's keeping you from getting it off. It looks pretty sturdy. I don't think you can get it off on your own. You don't really have a choice. Let's help him. How did you know that Kyoko, unless... I mean, I guess you could have figured it yeah. out. But... <laughs> She's the world's greatest detective. I'm just saying, a little <laughs> sus. It took everyone's help, but slowly we were able to get Hiro out of the suit. It took a few minutes, but eventually we got all the pieces off. Ah, uh, free at last. Isn't it kind of weird how perfectly the suit fits Hiro? More to the point, nobody but here would be able to wear that costume. Alright, new theory. Um, I do think we're going to get the 16th student. And they are going to be the murderer. And Hero didn't kill anyone. Maybe he did. Possibly. But he just hurt them as like a distraction. While the mysterious 16th student killed uh, Taka and Hifumi. Where's the real mastermind behind the plan? I also I have a theory. Alright. Yeah, hit me. Hit me. He's acting like he didn't get into the suit. He had somebody help him. I would suspect that um, since Hifumi knew exactly who it was, if Fumi helped him into the costume, got him all set up in it, and then got attacked. Ah, uh, that's totally possible. Yeah, I can see that. Hmm. <clears throat> My brain's just thinking. All right. Wait. What? Hold on a sec. Don't bother trying to act innocent. The blueprints were in your room as well. In other words, it's obvious to everyone that you made this costume. Oh my god. It totally is Fumi's. <laughs> but he's too fat to wear it. Oh, the, uh, That's why costume? it's like it's Robo Justice. Yeah, he, know, he knows who it is. Mm -hmm. 
Mm -hmm. That's yep. true. I saw the blueprints myself. I also like how Byaku uh, makes the distinction that it's correct because he saw it. <laughs> I just think that's funny. <laughs> yeah, me too. Then it's obvious the one who put this costume on and went around attacking everyone was Hero. Shall we tie him up and gag him? I don't think so. That's a little kinky. I mean, uh, good idea. We wouldn't want him killing anyone else. He not don't. Don't encourage her. D tie me up. Uh, hold on, guys. I think that's going a little far. He may be a suspect, but he deserves fair treatment. Yeah, I mean, attacking blueprints. I have no idea what you guys are talking about. You can't talk your way out of this. It's been decided. You killed them. Wh killed who? I have no idea what you're talking about. There must be a fake hero running around. You're the only one who can wear this costume. So who else could possibly be the costume attacker? How do you know I'm the only one? Maybe you should try it on for yourself before you convict me. Fine. You're going to be a jerk about it. I will. Uh, Without missing um, a beat, Hina started putting on the Robo Justice costume. Uh, see, look, see how loose it is? I mean, come on, I'm blind as a bat here, can't see my feet at all, I'm surprised you got anywhere in this thing. I'm telling you, it wasn't me. And not to mention, you totally can't bend in the waist. Seems like a pretty obvious oversight. That's not a very nice thing to say. Oh. Mm? <laughs> it's, it's okay. Yeah, I mean, it's not like I made it, I just got caught up in the moment. Well, either way, now we know for sure, right? I mean, it's pretty clear that nobody but Hero could have fit into this dumb costume. And a huff, Ina took the suit back off again. <sighs> well, now oh, you're all out of excuses. Wait a minute. What? Oh, well, I was thinking maybe he dropped it in the pool and then had to go and put it back, and that's why he... But, no. What? Put, put what back? The hammer. Oh. Because it fell in the pool uh, and the paint washed off. But, eh. Uh, I'm, I mean, this game is weird, so I'm not going to rule it out, but. <laughs> <laughs> no, see, it's because you're a girl. If it was another guy, then. Makoto, go ahead. Eh, fuck you, too. Against my will, I picked up the pieces off the floor and tried putting them on. That's uh, no good. The arms are too long. There's no way I can wear this. See? I told you it was impossible. You are absolutely right. It seems this costume was made to fit Hero's body exactly. Then there's another costume. They must have one that looks the same, but what fits them? If you insist on this line of defense, then show us some evidence. Uh, what's evidence? You claim there is another suit, yes? Then you must find it and show it to us. Uh, wh what the heck? Who cares? Hero's the only one without an alibi during this whole thing anyway. Which is how we know it was him. I mean, is that really true? I have no idea what's been happening. Can someone, like, tell me? Robo Justice costume. Check the locker, um, check the locker. Um, she okay, looks like right. she's lost in thought. Don't in the, in the mood to talk. Blah 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 blah. The mood to Big locker near the right, pool. Locker. Really? You can't even hey, look there. Guess not. There's no talking. Uh, okay. Alright. Hmm. It's looking more and more like it really was a setup. I kind of think so. I certainly did not expect Hiro and Kyoko to turn up at the same time. But where's Kyoko been hiding all this time? That's what I want to know. I have no idea. Perhaps she really is working for the Mastermind. What else would explain her questionable behavior? But... but... You are quite protective of her, yes? Actually... Why is Makoto protective of her? Because uh, she's helped Makoto out a lot in the thing so far. Uh, 
Yeah, I guess she's been like... Unlike Byakuya, has actually been trying to give somewhat hints. Mm -hmm. If I were the mastermind, that is exactly what I would do to earn your trust. But you're not the mastermind, so let's now are you? I didn't think so. Um, if you don't tell me what's going on, how am I supposed to understand? I think I figured out that someone's been killed, right? Hey, Makoto. Who was it? Well, two people were killed. Ah, oh, uh, Doc uh, and Hifumi. What? Two people? Why are you freaking out? You did it. I did not. Wait, hold on. Those two are the ones that were killed. That's it. I know who did it. You may as well tell us then. Taka and Arafumi were fighting over Alter Ego, right? Which means Alter Ego and Orchihiro must have done it. I see. That's unfortunate. Huh? Uh, unfortunate. <laughs> Stop trying to trick us. Just admit that you did it, okay? I'm telling you, you got it all wrong. <sighs> I know. That note. Note? Last night, someone slipped a weird note under my door. And here's what it said. Found a hole. Maybe we can use it to escape. Monokuma can't find out, so don't tell anyone else. For now. Let's meet in the rec room at 1am. Uh, but the last thing I remember is going to the rec room, and then for some reason, I fell asleep. A real killer probably drugged me or something. Not a chance. No, hold on. He could be onto something. The nurse's office did have chemicals that could do that. What? Really? I told you, someone's trying to set me up. Secret passage, a chance to escape. Someone wrote that all to trick me. I need to try to drink water, goddamn. <laughs> His voice wears me out. Even if that's true, you must be the one dumb fish to bite every piece of bait that floats in front of you. Well, uh, after being trapped here for so long, even if you know it's a lie, you still gotta check, right? <laughs> they preyed on my desire to get out of here. They deceived me! I still don't buy it. Well, you should buy it. It's like worth a million bucks. Okay, Ten million okay show bucks. us that note. <laughs> Ten million even. Oh, hey, wait, uh... No, forget I said that. With pleasure. <laughs> I have it right here in my, um, pocket. Looks like I lost it. Yeah, sure. But please, you gotta believe me. I wouldn't hurt a fly. As I said before, if you want us to believe you, you must produce evidence. Can you show us the note? I have no particular issue with what you claim, but if you want us to believe you, give us a reason. Oh, what the heck? Are you for serious? Excuse me. Now then, shall we resume our investigation? There's no time to waste before the class trial begins. Why do we need to keep investigating? We already know who did it. Why did you kill them? Tell us, hero. No, it, it's like I said. Was it really to get the money Monokuma offered us? Yeah, that must be it. He must be totally broke, and that's why. Wait, wait, that's a false accusation. Someone help me. Just be thankful we haven't bound and gagged you. If you have time to yell and carry on, you have time to search for your evidence, right? <gasps> right. I need to look for the second suit in that note. Feed the family now. So we better get back to dark duty. It's gonna ask Toker or Genocide Jack to switch with me. But if she and Sakura got into a fight, we'd have a catastrophe on our hands. <laughs> <laughs> well, bye. And on that note, one by one, the episode. <laughs>